that's just the way the world is. And um, there's no statement about that being the way that the micro world is, that the subatomic world is. It's the way that the world is. That uh, quantum mechanics is a theory of everything. It's a theory that applies perfectly well to you and me and to planets and stars and galaxies. We have no indication in the theory saying that it only applies to small things. Um, now, it's a property, an understood property of quantum mechanics, that the strange behavior kind of gets washed away as you get to big things, uh, because the big things get entangled with other big things and everything gets entangled together. And the outcome ultimately is the, is the more common sense world that we perceive. Although it's true to say that that's not really fully understood how that process happened, but it's reasonably well understood. But the key point about entanglement is that there's no statement at all that tells you that if you separate two things to large distances and nothing else interacts and gets entangled with them, that that entanglement should be broken. It's just really a statement about the way the system's configured. Um, in quantum systems, it turns out that the, the, the number, of, the, the way things are configured, right, the way everything's set up is much richer there's much more scope than in what we call a classical system, which is just thinking of particles independent of each other. And that scope, that the way that information is distributed, is, is now in the 21st century considered to be a resource.